What's up, McDonald's? I see you over there. What do you have for us today to taste? Hi, how are you doing? Good, you? Good. Let me try one of those signature sriracha burgers. Do you want the crispy chicken, or chicken, or beef? Uh, beef. What kind of bun do you want? Artisan. You want that a meal or just a sandwich? Just a sandwich. Anything else? What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's the Asian Feet. Now I'm back with another spectacular McDonald's fast food review. Thank God it's another glorious day. I'm taking advantage of every sunny day to give you guys, provide you guys with a glorious beach view. It's all about the ASMR food review. And today I'm taking a look at McDonald's new Sriracha Burger. So before I start, I want to give a quick shout out to JJ Kicks 23 Check it out. His YouTube channel is all about shoes, especially Jordans, all right? And let's see how much I paid for this Sriracha burger. Looks like I paid a pretty $4.79. That doesn't seem too bad, you know? Let's go ahead and bust this open and see what their signature crafted Sriracha burger is all about. All right, check it out, guys. So while you go through a drive-thru, they're going to ask you what kind of bun you want. I chose an artisan-style bun. And they're going to ask what kind of protein you want. So this time I opted for the beef patty, 100% Angus beef patty instead of the chicken. And this signature sriracha burger is basically a burger that contains zesty, spicy sriracha sauce, crispy onions, juicy sliced tomatoes, a blend of baby spinach and kale, and it has that exciting Angus seasoning on the 100% beef patty. Let's go ahead and get into this. You see that artisan bun is fresh, it's soft. I love that bun, almost like a pretzel texture right there. There you see the onions, the fried onions with the spinach, and I do not see any kale on there. Maybe it's an option of each that you choose. Uh, you see sriracha sauce on top. Do you see the cheddar cheese? Looks like it hasn't been melted throughout. A slice of tomato there's that cheese right there and the beef patty game a nice size rest of the artisan bun all right guys here we go wish me luck All right, check it out guys. So as I bit throughout this burger, my first impression was that the creamy sriracha foot sauce is like a mellowed out version, kind of like as if they did like a mayo whipped into sriracha. So it's less spicy and less reddish I color. I know it's that gradually increased in spiciness level, but it peaks out at three out of five stars. It's a nice creamy, smooth sriracha blend. And added it to that burger, that blends in well with this slightly overcooked but juicy burger as you see right there it's 100% beef and I do appreciate the special greens I wonder how kale would taste on there either they forgot or it doesn't come with it but I do appreciate the spinach sometimes lettuce can be very boring but that slice of tomato it's not a red ring on death for me that's just extra carbs and healthy goodness I appreciate vegetables that's for sure artisan bun is definitely top-notch I think I'm pretty happy with this burger um, I'm just surprised that I don't hear many people talk about it I would appreciate that maybe if they even add some um, jalapenos or maybe even add some bacon that would just finish off perfectly but like this by itself I'm not sure I've hooked this up with a 85 percent if they add those additions that I recommend, it could be up in the upper 80s for sure. Hey guys, check out from McDonald's, check out the Arson Burger and also their Sriracha Signature Burger. As always, eat hard, work out harder, baby. Oh, what's up, Akira? I see you and I also see the ferry. It's coming in. And the 
burger is about to go into your mouth. Are you ready for this? Don't miss it. That's what's up. Man, I am not in the mood for a burger at all. all right, Let me get that. Let me get that um, premium bacon ranch salad with crispy chicken. Welcome back to my channel. It's Asian Fina. I'm back with another McDonald's food review. Now, I wasn't in the mood for burgers at all because I've been eating it pretty much often so I decided to try their new salad and we're talking about a premium salad right here this is the McDonald's premium bacon ranch salad with crispy chicken Let's see how much I pay for this deal okay 519 it looks like in case in case you guys are wondering I also just reviewed the apple pie Oh, what's on the back? All right, get free fries if the Mariners score five more more runs. You score free medium fries. Speaking of the Mariners, they are ranked number six preseason. They're gonna have great pitching along with very good offense. A force to be reckoned with. With, but you know, my Cardinals—they're ranked number four. Gotta stick with my Cardinals. All right, so let's see. What this salad is all about. Oh, it's looking nice. Alright, so the salad comes with the Paul Newman's own ranch restaurant dressing. Here's some of the nutritional info along with the ingredients. Once you've seen ranch, you've seen it all, you know. Paul Newman's, I've had quite a few of the McDonald's salad and their dressings are pretty nice, pretty good. Now let's take a look at the exciting salad. Ooh, I better not drop this. All right, look at this. All right, straight from their website. It says, crispy chicken breast filet tossed up to 16 varieties of mixed greens. Are you kidding me? 16 varieties? I can't even name six kinds of salad. I mean, lettuce. Juicy grape tomatoes, shaved carrots, jack and cheddar cheeses, and thick cut applewood smoked bacon made just for you and served with Newman's own ranch dressing. You know what, before I even get into this, let's see if we can even count up to 16 different types of greens. Here is the romaine, red, um, looks like green, iceberg, I got cabbage, five, I guess the carrot counts as a green, six, seven, tomato. Yeah, I'm not sure there's even like maybe 10 types of green in here. But anyway, it all looks very oh, exciting. You're getting on the action, huh? I'll hook you up with a piece of chicken later. Let's pour some of this ranch dressing. Typically, I like vinaigrette, but since this is a ranch salad, I have to stick with the ranch dressing. Look at the creamy smoothness that you see. It's got some vegetable ingredients in there. All right, we're gonna mix this up real good and give it a go. The pieces of chicken looks mighty fine and crispy. There's enough of the lettuce right there. Cherry tomato. Red lettuce. Cabbage. Carrot. What else is going on? Got that blend of cheese, cheddar, and... Swiss, I think. And oh, God, God, look at the bacon bits. This is what the salad is all about. Look at these bacon bits right there. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice apple with smoked flavor. Oh, yeah, it's got a nice flavor to it. I just wish there were more of it. And I was thinking, 
let's take a look at the chicken game. Here's the white meat chicken. Mmm, very nice taste. Wow, it's like eating KFC. Got to have the chicken. Mmm, that's what shines in this salad is the chicken. I'm gonna have to admit, this is a bona fide salad. A little bit of everything. You get your proteins from the delicious crispy chicken, white meat. You get the cheese blend. That's the dairy and also the vegetables that intake that you need to take per day. And that creamy ranch dressing is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm not even a fan of ranch. So overall, for five, what was it, 519 or something like that? It's a pretty good deal considering how much salads cost. And you get a nice amount of the chicken. I just wish there were more bacon bits, like I would say two to three times as much maybe. Hint hint, McDonald's. Because the the greens game, the vegetable game is definitely fresh and crispy. But hey, hook this up with more bacon and we'll talk about A, alright? So on the scale one hundred percent, almost an A, I'm gonna have to give this a 88%. Until next time, don't forget to always eat hard, work out harder. And make sure you check out my apple pie review, all right? All right, Kara, I know how much you love lettuce. I'm gonna have to hook you up with this big old piece right here, big old chunk. There you go. And I'm gonna hook you up with this nice piece of chicken right here. All right. I'm going to this McDonald's in Mocatillo to try their mighty, mighty wings. They better have them in stock too. I tried the three piece mighty wings. Hey, what's up YouTube? Now I'm Everett. I'm going to KFC. I'm trying to up the scale. I saw that everybody's reviewed the McDonald's mighty wings. So today I'm going to pit it against KFC spicy wings. Let's do this. Hold on, are they open? Man, where's all the business? All right, can I try the three-piece spicy wings? Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your Asian phenom back with another very exciting food battle. We all know that the McDonald's Mighty Wings came out just recently, and I saw, I've seen that a lot of people have done reviews on it, so I'm gonna up it a notch today. I'm gonna pit the McDonald's three piece Mighty Wings, which I paid $3.69 versus KFC's Spicy Wings, $1.89. Three piece versus three piece. We got honey mustard. If you want extra, I think they charge you. And KFC, no dipping sauce required, so it better taste good. Here we go. Let's take a quick look at this. KFC is definitely pretty. I mean, McDonald's are definitely pretty big size versus KFC's. Let me zoom in on this for you. Look at the comparative size, right? So it's about like quarter size bigger, perhaps. But is it worth double the price? Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's try it. Here's the McDonald's Mighty Wings. Big pieces of chicken. Looks like it's extra crispy. And they're super jumbled like they're on steroids. Here we go. Pretty crispy. There's definitely a little spice to it, a kick to it. Let's try some with the honey mustard sauce. So they have a whole bunch of variety, like um, buffalo sauce, buffalo wing sauce, hot, sweet and sour, honey mustard, ranch. So let's try some of this dipping sauce. It's kind of weird if you use dipping sauce with hot wing. I mean, it's really flavored. Yeah, it tastes weird with honey mustard. I mean, it tastes good with chicken McNuggets, but this already have enough flavor in there. I'm somewhat impressed with the flavor. It's seasoned right with a little kick spice to it. But that, you know, that price tag, the price tag just lingers in my mind. So let's give the KFC spicy wings a chance. The smaller, 
It looks like it's a different color. It looks and feels crispy. Here we go. The KFC spicy wings is a little bit milder than McDonald's, a little bit taste less tastier. So this is gonna be a difficult decision to make. Do I go with the tastier, bigger wings, which is more expensive, or the KFC, which is known for their chicken wings or fried chicken? You get more, it's cheaper. So this is gonna be a tough decision to make. So let's say price aside, right? Based on taste, McDonald's definitely wins this battle. But I would give it on a scale of 1 to 100 from the McDonald's without price and consideration, right? McDonald's gets a good 88%, while KFC gets a good 80, 84%. Now, if you take the price in consideration, KFC is going to win this battle. A lot cheaper, almost half is cheap. So that's going to give them respectful. 88% also, but McDonald's gets a 80%. I just felt that McDonald's overcharging. You know, you just introduce a product. Why are you charging so much? You know, this should be somewhere like 2.99 maybe, something like that. Hey, either one will suffice. You can't go wrong with either one, but. I guess I'll, I'll lean more at KFC winning this battle slightly. They're known for their chicken.